fluids builds up within the lungs, so the lungs can't empty. We've been using technology in our labs for about a year and a half now, principally in our anatomy lab uh, where the students compare the physical the feel and touch and shape of the actual specimen to the diagrams and the MRIs and the video images that are available on these apps. Technology is definitely evolving at a fairly rapid pace, so we find ourselves having to try and catch up with students these days. Uh, the students seeing and doing all sorts of things on their devices, from a laptop to a tablet to their smartphone, and obviously what they do outside in their personal lives, they want to bring into the classroom and they want to use in the classroom as well. That's really precipitating a lot of change and a lot of development in uh, developing learning technologies that students can use on the device they want, where they want and when they want. Anatomy, our subject, is very visual, very three-dimensional. You need to be able to see it, you need to be able to touch it, feel it, look at, you know, ex examine it from multiple points of view to be able to really get a full picture. And so that's really a great opportunity for bringing in technology into our classrooms and to our labs because that enables us to then employ all those different perspectives in teaching our students learning. I thought that using the technology as a learning tool was very helpful. The more chances you have to look at you know, different regions of the anatomy is beneficial. Just having more looks at one piece of the body dramatically increases the amount of knowledge you can get out of any given tool. It allowed me to kind of consolidate my textbooks with the 3D stuff that was before me. And what I really appreciated from it was the clinical diagnosis part. So I mean, we were able to compare x-rays and CTs and MRIs with the anatomy and physiology that was right in front of us and we've never been able to do that before. That's hugely important because I mean we're being asked as physicians to incorporate all this knowledge together so I mean if we're trained in working with it all together we're going to be able to incorporate it that much faster and have a better understanding. I think in the short term really that is a lot of a drive for this bring your own device type of strategy so students bringing their own devices and plugging into whatever they need and us being able to facilitate access via whatever device they have and whatever they use for whatever given purpose. The foremost institution institutions in North America have incorporated technology into their teaching and learning and as a foremost university ourselves we would like to engage technology with our students because nowadays our students grow up with technology all around them. They already use technology in non-educational settings. They're familiar with programs and with the different ways of using it and we would like to incorporate that into our learning and teaching. Also because educational research shows that when you engage multiple domains, you are able to make learning more effective.